Hello guys, uh, first of all I'd like to thank uh, for the uh, session we had today. It was really great having you all there. And uh, I'm really sorry I couldn't present this uh, uh, demo I had prepared for the session. So this is what it will look like. So I, I have written as infrastructure as a code plus one uh, small HTML that uh, gives you a site like this. So as of now this is a screenshot I have taken. And uh, we are going to create uh, from nothing to something like this. So for that, we go and check our website. Uh, we go and check our GitHub. So if you go to here and go check this project. And in this project, I post a change in Terraform. So if you could see, I had uh, 38 minutes ago, I post a new change. So here is a small website. Yeah, I know a bit of uh, HTML5, so I have tried to use it over here, small. And then um, the, the this is how it's gonna look after we uh, have something. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is only meant to give you a look and feel what is infrastructure as a code. And then uh, there are a few bugs. So uh, the bug is that uh, I have a let's go and check images so i have made a lxc image sorry so let's make it a little smaller sorry. so as you can see there is an image called devops for you this image contains nginx and a code so it's a container image and we are going to clone that repo, go to SCM, we have a folder called SCM. Nothing is there. I go ahead and clone this repo. Yeah, so in this image, this is a pre-baked image which contains Nginx and the code. So what you can do is uh, you can have another automation which creates a new image when you deploy a new code and then you can um, how do you use the image let's go create ELK and then let's go over here and we have something called IAC.tf so this is all you want to get your infrastructure up and running so um, I'm going to change the image name the image name is devops for you as you already saw over here this is the image i'm going to use and i'm going to do terraform in it okay before that uh, let's go and check what devops for you points to so devops for you if you see over here uh, it should point to nothing because there, uh, if we do lxc list we have no containers running so this is what we have cool and now we do terraform in it to initialize this project and yeah guys for this you if you want to try this out you, actually you want to try this out you can uh, download terraform and you can directly connect with me how to get it done so uh, we initialize then now we do terraform plan just to check what it is going to do for us so it is going to create a container with uh, these configurations with a cpu one cpu and 256 mb of ram and the name of the container would be uh, this and there are a few things which will which we'll know after apply cool so we do terraform apply and it last for confirmation we type s and yeah so there are there's one more thing which you have to do manually the if you can see uh, cat etc uh, HOSTS host. They, I have defined a uh, IP DNS mapping over here. You just have to update this IP to point to the new one, which I, which I'm going to create it. So let's open a new uh, terminal and uh, zoom it out and see. Uh, let's see Alexa list. As you can see, we have a container running, and now what we do, we copy this and we do go to uh, this file and we update the IP over here so uh, after updating we just go ahead and just reload this and here we are 
and the, the, the guys please forgive me for this for this small design so this is what i could write it uh, in very short notice so you just use this and you can go to our blog so yeah guys we already got we already provisioned right so uh, it is a decomposable architecture so for for example you don't want this and uh, you you are already in the scm and then gates elk here you can go ahead and put a different image and uh, just do terraform apply you have your infrastructure running so what if i don't want to like say list i just want to destroy it you just do terraform destroy okay so when you do destroy it is actually going to destroy your infrastructure whatever you made and uh, sorry this is not the thing we go over here devops for you so this is the minimal thing which i tried to so to see in an incognito mode we can go ahead and open an incognito mode and check over here so what i think it it would be a great use case for a developer to create their own dev dev, dev environment on the laptop and a, a bit of automation on uh, creating an image automatic creating an image we can include something uh, we can include something like jenkins which actually whenever you push your code to uh, uh, repo and it actually creates your image and then you can directly use that image and just do terraform just go over here feed a new image name and you are all set to go so you can just mani manipulate the uh, cpu memory and everything so guys if you are interested in now uh, you can see we are back to the norm, where we were so this is all guys uh, this is everything we i wanted to show in this small demo and yeah uh, so the good use case for this is if i'm a developer and i'm working on some project so what i do is i create my code and then um, i uh, maybe if you want to have an automation on uh, creating a image i can help you with that and then all i do is i run git git push and then it creates me an image because i implement ci uh, in that and then what you do is just do i just change the image name and then you do terraform apply and you have your code running so it becomes very easy for you to test so that's it for this the uh, video guys and see you in next video let's let's hope we connect together again and then yeah so happy learning stay home stay safe and thank you hello guys uh, first of all i'd like to thank uh, for the uh, session